Hello guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you some basic introductions to Adobe Photoshop. And the first thing we're going to cover is how to create a new document. Now when you open Photoshop it may look similar to this, it depends on the version you're using. So what you would do is you, if you have the option there you would click create new, otherwise you would go to file and new or control and n as a keyboard shortcut. Now, uh, here you have the option to create a document. Now you can create one in pixels, in inches, centimeters, and millimeters. Now, there are a couple of other options, but these are the four you'll fundamentally use. Uh, Size-wise, um, you can set it to automatically do landscape or portrait. Otherwise, put in the dimensions. And you may have an option to choose some presets. Uh, on my screen, they're automatically here. So you've got photo, you've got print, uh, ones for web etc etc the other option you'll get here is resolution now generally the higher the resolution the more clarity and the more detail you'll get in your image however with a higher resolution comes a higher image size so you need to be careful when you're choosing to make sure it's appropriate for whatever you'll be using it for color mode now there are two color modes RGB which is red green and blue now this is the choice you would use if you are using something for the web it's something that's going to remain digital and isn't going to be printed if you're going to print it then you would choose CMYK now that stands for cyan magenta yellow and key now key is typically black but it stems from the days where the key was the cheapest ink which used to be like a blue or a dark blue but in this case it's black so if you're going to print something you need to choose CMYK now for the sake of this tutorial uh, we're just going to be using it for digital so I'm going to choose RGB and I'm going to keep this as yep 7 by 5 inches is fine and you click on create so this now is your canvas uh, and in here there are a selection of tools you can do I'm going to introduce you to layers now layers are really important in Photoshop this section here is your layers and there are some additional options up here under layer now by default you'll have a white background and it is locked this is the locked key here now as you add layers you'll see you'll get a new layer now the layer that is on the top is the one that will be uh, the most visible you can kind of think of it as a stack of like transparent papers um, so the one that's on top will show through the most the one at the bottom will show through the least um, now as you add things in so if I was to add some text here uh, I will say hello now currently that is on top you can see it fine now if I was to add a new layer you can click on down here and if I was to add some more text which said bye now if I was to move this text so that it was on top you'll see now that it obscures the one below it so it's something to bear in mind when you're using Photoshop okay so um, other options to think of here is the opacity and the fill now if you're not using layer styles which is something we'll look at later you can just use opacity that's fine now as you can see it changes how visible my layer is like that so 100% is fully visible and the zero is invisible now another thing I can do here is this eye here you see here if I click that off that will turn the layer off it doesn't delete it it just makes it invisible uh, I can lock a layer so if I click on this layer and click on this little padlock here that will lock the layer now once it's locked you can't make any changes to it and um, this is sometimes useful if you're doing some intricate changes and you've got lots of layers so that you can make sure you don't accidentally make the change to the wrong layer at the bottom here you can delete a layer if I click my layer here and click on the trash can you'll see delete the layer yes and now that's gone um, there are some other options on the bottom here which we'll cover in a bit more detail in some of the other tutorials um, but for now this is how you just add some basic layers in so to save your image you would go to uh, file and save alternatively you can use Control plus s now you can save it as a photoshop file here now this isn't an image file um, however this will save all your layers and anything you're working on so you can change it in the future which I do recommend doing if you're working on quite a big project so if I click on save here so 
So that is now saved as hello.psd, which is a Photoshop document. Now, if you want to save an image to use elsewhere, you will need to go to File, Export, and Export As. Now in here, you'll get a little preview window of your document and you'll get some settings here. So by default, it goes to a PNG document, which is really useful if you want some transparency. So the background to be transparent, for example. You've got JPEGs, which are great for typical like photographs, etc. GIFs, which are very useful on the web. And also SVG. Now SVG is a vector file and that's really useful if you want to uh, blow an image up very, very big to be used in the future okay but for second I'm just going to stick with a PNG and I'm going to click on export and it works okay and you can see now it's got hello.png so now I have the Photoshop file here which I can edit in the future and I've got the image which is what I can use then to post on social media or put into documents etc etc so hopefully this has given you a little introduction to the basics of Photoshop and you can go ahead and use this with some other tutorials that we'll cover a bit later. Thanks for listening, bye.